Hi, Wolves. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Face cam on in one minute. watching the Santa's List stream? I'm still upset that I didn't find anything bad for you, Wubs. I was disappointed. In myself, not you.
Loki been waiting for the stream? Erm... Um, <laughs> I was supposed to do this stream concept like, what, a month ago? And then also, I'm late because I was doing errands. Face came on in 3, 2, 1. Guys, I'm live. Hello, good afternoon, good evening, hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you, Wolves, for chatting and the just starting the soon screen. Hello. Also, this is a new top. I got it the other day from Old Navy. It's cute. See, it's got poofy sleeves. It's tighter here. Wait, can I? Oh, you can't see him if I stand here. That's dumb. But it has, like, a little frill. I'll post a fit on those stories. I'll do it. Okay. Last time I was live was Sunday. It's now Friday. <laughs> So, I'll, I'll give you guys a little update what I've been doing. I've been slacking. Honestly, yeah, I've been slacking. But, Monday was Christmas. It was chill. Both my roommate and my sister had to work. So, we kind of celebrated when everybody was home. And then... What did we do Tuesday? Oh, wait, Tuesday was the 26th. So I, I went shopping and stuff. You know, woman be shopping. <laughs> But it's the best time to buy stuff right after Christmas because that's when like all the chocolates are on sale, all the ornaments are on sale. So like if you want to stock up for next year, always go bargain shopping the day after. Wednesday was my sister's birthday. I'll tell I'll do story times. Hmm. Wait, let me look at a calendar. I need to like plan out what I'm gonna do next week. Cause Monday is New Year's. I don't know what we're gonna do during January. Last year during January, we did Wii Week, and then I said I would play Wii games again, and then I didn't. So maybe... <laughs> maybe we'll just do Wii games in January. It'll be Wii Week, and we'll make it an annual thing. So, plan for next week. New Year's is, New Year's is Monday. Everything is closed Monday, so I can't do stuff. Tuesday, I have stuff to do in the morning. Oh, we have to do the Peace in Year in Review next week, in the first week of January. Sketch cards for January. Oh, talking about sketch cards, guys. Gifted subscriptions are now 25% off. Yes, it is true. Save $1.25 on your gifted sub today. And get a special ornament on the tree. Smile. Um. Yeah, so, oh wait, I was going to show you guys pictures. So, it was my sister's birthday on Wednesday. And we got her this custom cake. Yeah, turning on do not disturb. That way I don't leak my IG DMs. So she and I designed this cake. We got it from a local bakery. There it is. I'll post I posted pictures on Twitter, so if you follow me on Twitter, you've already seen it. But it was a like a strawberry cake with chocolate filling, vanilla buttercream on the outside, and then like a drizzle. And then the little cat decals and the happy birthday I made myself with the cat is fondant that I painted with food coloring. And the lettering is hot or not hot chocolate. It was just melted white chocolate because the cake itself was $180 because the smallest size you could order from this bakery was an eight inch, you know, eight inches. And you, they didn't do anything less than four layers unless you got a sheet cake. So, a hundred and eighty dollar cake, but it was really good. What was the inspiration for the hat? Oh, okay. So, the the cat in the picture is actually called Tama Cat. My sister, she's she's not a weeb because she's Japanese. Okay, we're good. She's not a weeb. But in Japan, they have a lot of themed attractions, and one of the things they have is they have this one train station in like this rinky ding town that they have like cat conductors so they dress up cats in like little uniforms and the actual trains themselves are decorated look search up tama cat train station if you have a chance um so she went to that in japan she fell in love with it so now she has like all these tama cat plushies so she wanted a tama cat cake and she was like can i please get like a sculpted cat cake with fondant i was like no they're gonna charge us like $300 for that cake. So I was like, you know what? I'll make 
my own fondant and I did and it came out pretty good. So that was Wednesday and then Thursday it was my friend's birthday so I got them some cake too. I bought them like a slice. I didn't buy them a whole cake. And then yeah and then we're here today. And today the plan is simple. <laughs> Okay, um, I think today, I also, I didn't do my nails, but they're really long. I might do them tonight. Because, like, see how my ring finger is, like, super yellow? It's because whenever you put darker polishes down, like, your nails don't get enough sunlight, so they just darken over time. So I think I'm going to leave my nails bare for a week to see if they, like, just stop turning yellow. Okay, plan for today is simple. We, this is not my YouTube intro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, plan for the rest of the week. Today, ranking every single Mario Kart track. Tomorrow, ranking every DLC track, because 48 tracks, every average track, even at 200cc, takes 3 minutes. So, ain't no way I'm gonna do like a 6 hour stream. I'm tired. And then Sunday, if I'm up for it, beating Super Mario RPG, because we need to get that out of the way. And then I'm still planning what I'm going to do for the first week of January. What if I just do Wii games all during January? I don't know. Oh, okay. So, we did all of the Christmas streams this year. I feel like they all went good. Question mark. I'm going to try and edit down every single holiday stream I did this year. Besides the Naughty or Nice. I'm going to upload the Naughty or Nice next Christmas. That way, similar to this year, it can promo the quiz for that year so guys make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel it is youtube.com slash at peace in 17 i have two videos already edited i'm getting ahead of the game for january my goal is to be because for the clips channel i try to be two months ahead and then for the main channel i usually just edit every week but i'm gonna try and get like at least a video ahead every week because usually if the raw footage is an hour, then it takes about three hours to edit. So, you basically, however much raw footage you have, you multiply it times three, and that's how long it actually takes to trim and add whatever graphics or VFX if it's needed. So, my goal is to get ahead. That is the plan for 2024. Oh, we, we gotta talk about resolutions. I know you guys wanted me to do resolutions last year, and I, then I didn't. But you know what? I think 2024 is going to be a good year for me, so I will be doing resolutions next week. <laughs> Not today. Today we're playing freaking Mario Kart. I think today I'm going to focus more on, like, actual commentary. I'm a gamer, so we'll do story times. I'm so... <laughs> I think, Wolves, the last time you were in chat, you were like, how many how many topics do you have? I have, I have so many that I still need to dabble on. So we'll do regular, a classic piece in the stream next week. Today, we are gaming, okay? Enough stalling, let's get out of just chatting, because that's cringe. I did forget to change my category when I clicked go live. Okay, we're gaming now. Everybody, say hello to YouTube. I will be editing this down at some point, okay? <laughs> okay, I need to think of how I'm going to phrase this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a good one. I have a good one. Now, I'm no means a gamer, but I think I am pretty good at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So today, I'm going to be ranking every single track that came out on the original version of 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. I will not be ranking the DLC, that'll be for a different day. Cause I don't want to do this for like eight hours straight. So today we're gonna be ranking all 48 tracks of the original Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Should I put a timer on screen? No, that's dumb. I don't wanna do that. Cause like I like putting counters and timers on stream, but then I can't edit it out and post. So it's kind of like pointless.
Okay, let's get this set up. Versus battle. Ooh. Should I change my character throughout? You know, since Paulina's out, I'm probably gonna main Pauline for like forever. She's too cute. Okay. I'm gonna do 200cc because I'm speedrunning. Let's do random courses. I tried to do courses in order just to like test it out, but they don't play in order, so it's like kind of dumb. So I'll just do random. All 40 tracks. Wait. Surely it won't like randomly pick the DLC ones, right? Okay, ready? Get your timers on. Let's begin. Hi, Mint. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, you spelled my name wrong, fake fan. Wait, it is doing DLC. This is so dumb. G get me out of here. Get me, get me out. It does spawn the DLC? That's genuinely so stupid. Okay, guys, reset your timers. This is so dumb. Wait, so that means I have to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay. I will try to do the tracks in order, then. I'm not looking at the screen, I'm so mad. I looked. <laughs> okay. In order, surely this will work. Oh, so you guys want to see the tier list? Bang, I made it myself. Look at that. Flawless. Okay, now... Wait, now, let's begin. Mario Kart Stadium, a classic? I definitely think one of, like, the most boring tracks, though. Like, every single iteration of Mario Kart Stadium is just mid. It's for babies. But as a starter track, it is pretty nice, yeah. Like, there's never two complex lines. Like, the turns are always super wide. Like, this is good if you're, like, learning the basic controls, which... Did take me a while to learn. Because I initially played Mario Kart for the first time ever on the Wii, so I only did toe controls. So going from the Wii to the Switch and having to use the joystick was mind-boggling. But now that I've been playing the Switch version for so long, I tried the Wii version about a year ago, and I literally, I literally can't play with toe controls anymore. I don't know how little, like, 10-year-old me did it. Classic. I don't think there's anything that I, like, hate in this track. I know I should be going for this right line. I never go for those loose pads just because I go too fast and I get scared. Oh, I should- why did I throw? I should have held. Something that I do need to work on is making sure to pick up coins when I can. I'm just so used to doing 200 that the speed doesn't really matter. You watch this. Easy! First place! Okay. Let's see. Mario Kart Stadium? Oh, the way that I have things ranked. We have S tier, best of all time. A, very good. B, decent. C, meh. D, the absolute worst. So my personal rules for S and D rank is that I can only put, like, max three in them. Mario Kart Stadium? Out of- Okay, out of my memory, out of all of the Mario Kart Stadiums, I think this is one of, like, the more better ones. So I would agree. I would put B. It's- It's decent. It's alright. It's aight. Okay, moving on. Next race. 
I really hope it doesn't pull up the DLC tracks again. What if it goes in order but backwards? <laughs> Imagine. Water Park. This was one of my favorites of like all time until the DLC came out. Now I know we're not ranking the DLC today, but this will drastically impact my overall rating. Now that all the DLC is completely out. That we've seen like everything that Nintendo has to offer in terms of Mario Kart. Um, watch through the end. I'm gonna get my ranking on this track at the very end. <laughs> I never used to go for this left path, mainly because like I thought the line was shorter. But getting those coins at the beginning is so important. Hi Geo, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I used to hate that S-shaped line. And I used to hate this track because of it, but ever since I started using an inside your bike, like, it's really fun. Anything that has super sharp turns, I, I'm i kind of biased towards. <laughs> I think my shell hit the fish that was in the foreground. I don't like this map because of the missed potential. How else can this map be better? I think it's pretty... I think it's pretty good. The only annoying part is the carousel at the end. I hate hitting it. Also, hi, Kobobo. Can we get some yo? Hello. Ooh, all three. Easy. Okay, I've never... I've never had that happen. Hitting the center thing? Okay, not gonna lie. I think getting the purple drift in that one section makes this track worth it. Um, I said I'd give my ranking at the end. Water park? Wait, I didn't change scenes. <laughs> okay. Water park? I think it's pretty good. I like it still. I think the lines are very fun. I like how there's the very subtle like split path at the start. Also, I remember another reason why I love this track is because there was this one meme compilation I saw years ago and it was a clip of people playing this track mirror mode and literally all the players ran into the well at the very start. So whenever I play this level, I just chuckle inside my head thinking about that clip water park honestly bottom for me you know what you you have no timeouts in my chat and it looks like, like you're gonna get one soon for that opinion no joke so obsessed i missed the santa stream don't worry about it um vods are always up and i am working on editing down majority of the christmas streams to my youtube channel so go subscribe New video will be out tomorrow. In which Santa stream? Do you mean the... The Santa's list? Or... The Naughty or Nice list? Or Winter Wishes? Because they all were like Santa adjacent. Sweet, sweet candy. I love me some candy. It is very good. The list? Oh yeah, you had to be there to participate. Sag. Um, don't worry, I'll do it next year. Or, <laughs> if I ever get enough people banned, then I guess we can do another reviewing your log stream. Wait, I'm supposed to be reviewing the track. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, because these tracks are looping, so I can always look at it again. I definitely think this track is one of the most visually interesting. And not because it's food, before anybody says anything, not because it's food. I just like how colorful it is. I don't really like this cannon part. I feel like it's out of- I feel like this cannon is out of place. Also, I don't know why the coins are on the outer edge. I usually go for a tighter one. And for this section, I always go to the right. I don't know why. I do not have no clue why. 
even though I think they're the same line but mirrored. So even when I play this level mirrored, I still go like on the left track so it's the same like like bird's eye view line. I also think the detail of like the tiny white speckles for like powdered sugar in there is cute. I also do appreciate how the cones don't slow you down. Dude, I'm cracked. <laughs> oh, I also used to fall off that part of the track every single time until I got an inside drift bike. Everybody gives me slack, but you know what? It works for me. Don't you dare throw it. Easy. Sweet, sweet canyon? Wait, I think I might want to rearrange some of these. Wait. I like sweet, sweet canyon, but I think it's better than water park. In comparison to, like, Sweet Sweet Canyon, I think Water Park is decent. Because, like, I need to consider the overall composition. So, like, the environments, the actual, like, play. Like, how you actually move on the track, like, like line-wise, how fun it is. Yeah, I, I'm bumping Water Park down. I lied. I lied. Next track. The rubric? Yeah, everybody's gonna get a letter grade at the end of stream today. Womp Ruins. Was this on another console? I can't remember. I'm clueless. Wait, there's a rainbow gauge. Now, I'm only gonna show this at the start just because it's here. I never know that ramp was there until I saw, like, pro people play it. How are you supposed to find that ramp? Because a lot of skips in 8 Deluxe are, like, pretty clear. <laughs> but I remember when I saw that skip, at the very start, my mind was blown. Another S-shaped turn? Okay, I think three out of the four tracks in this pre had some type of S-shaped turn. Maybe that's why I like the first few tracks. See, there's one here at the very start. I, I never go for the side path. I don't like going straight. Hashtag pride. <laughs> and then I always go left. <laughs> I'm just woke. <laughs> okay. What I do love is that there are two hidden skips. There's a the second one. <laughs> okay. I usually don't go for it because I get scared. I don't like going for the skinnier pads. I don't go straight. I go gay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I never go into that ride path. It's so boring. Okay. I didn't mean to go down the center path. It's not as fun. I don't like the tracks where you just go straight. I love turning. You know, it gives my fingers something to do. And it's like practice for later. Um, ladies? <laughs> yeah, that was the Womp Ruins. I'm kind of at a point to where like, I can just play Mario Kart and zone out. I don't need to be dialed in. Because for a lot of the earlier tracks, I have, like, most of I back? 
Okay, it says I'm back. I don't know why it DC. Guys, what was the last thing I said before it cut out? So I know, like, what to say. <laughs> I went a little tangent. What did I say last before it... <laughs> I don't... Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gio. Thank you. You're paying attention. Thank you. Okay, let me hide you. Okay. <laughs> okay, what did I say right before that, though? Oh yeah, I'm kind of at a point to where I can play Mario Kart and not be dialed in. I have most of the lines memorized in a lot of the earlier tracks. So I think that's kind of why I'm ranking the first few, like, fairly decent or kind of high. Thwomp Ruins? I love how there's so many different paths. I think it's definitely one of the more fun tracks. It's not the most visually interesting because there's not a lot of color changes or differentials in the background. But I think it's a very fun track. I think it's very good. Next up. Also, you know what else is next? New followers. Because, <laughs> guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Wow. We already got one offline follower today. Can we get another? Also, I'm going to verify that the audio is synced. The audio is still synced. Let's go. Okay, next race. I hate the... The zero gravity tracks look so scary, like in the B-roll footage. It looks like a kid drew a roller coaster, and then they just made it. I do wonder what it would be like to drive on these tracks IRL, the anti-gravity ones, where you're just like upside down sideways. Okay, I think this is one of my more favorite Mario Circuit Tripe tracks, just because the first line at the start. <laughs> This track definitely feels really short. And I think because it's basically just turn after turn. It's basically just turn after turn. There's not much like straight sections beside here. What is going on? Like this is the only like straight shot section. Otherwise you're drifting the whole time. Okay, I cannot knock it first. Oh my god. I never used to go for these ramps because I'd be I'd be too scared of going fast, but I'm like confident now in my skill. Also, those piranhas at the end are legitimately so annoying. The worst. Visually, I think this is one of my more favorite tracks. I love green personally. I'm actually wearing green today. Um, that was not planned. But against the blue sky, the upside down castle, I think this is one of the more prettier tracks. Even if it's not a lot of foliage. You can see the little toad environments there. No! <gasps> Did I hit him in the air? No way. We're watching that back. I think I hit Link in the air. I think I- okay, let's watch- watch the tape. Um, editor, just cut this out, just like zoom in when I actually hit him. Okay, I get hit by an item. Wait, I- How do I go back?
Okay, how do I like... How do I skim through the cliff? <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll get ready to pause it. <laughs> I think I- <laughs> Okay, that's right when he passes me. Right, Stick? Thank you, Geo. <laughs> okay, the ink is blocking it. I throw the bubble. Wait, I see it. Zoom in. Oh, okay, so... It doesn't... Look, it the bubble doesn't hit him, it hits the railing. But then Link gets hit in the crossfire. You know what, that? I'll count that as a dub. I sniped him. Actually, kind of wicked. Okay, that insane trip will not affect my ranking, Mario Circuit? I would like a bit more variety in the actual, like, track lines, because a lot of it is just turning. It's very engaging, which is good, but I want to be able to, like, cruise a little bit. I would say it's decent. Still a fun track, but I like some of the tracks more than this one. Oh, see, like, that shot of her upside down? That would make me yank. Wait, did I see the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, oh my god, I never noticed that. There's a peach. Holding a star and a fire flower. I legitimately never noticed that. Probably because I skipped through the B-roll. <laughs> I, I never go for the leftmost path. A similar issue, the ramp to get on it is kind of skinny. I'll try it next lap, though. A thing that I've come to realize is that, that since I'm playing these tracks in 200cc, I do not have a lot of time to, like, take in the environment. That's the thing I love and hate about 200cc, is that yes, it's quick play, but you do have to be very focused. Yeah, I'll go for it. Yo! Dang it. I can't swim. I wish when I hop, I would like hop high. That'd be sick if I could get like jet propulsions on the base of my bike. This track kind of plays like a lot of the newer DLC city tracks. To where the buildings, you can't really see what the terrain ahead is going to look like. But I don't hate it like I do the modern city tracks. Mainly because I think this one was on a different console before. Wait a minute! I thought I was gonna for sure fall off. Okay, I'm I'm losing on purpose because I knew a blue shell was coming. Come here. I'm amazed. Here, I'll go for the left path for the fans. This path, it, it reminds me of a like, side bike. It's not fun. Why'd I fall off there? It's so dumb. Okay, people say that going this is going this way is faster, but I don't think so. I think it's a scam, it's a fraud. Still got first. Okay, I did not play well at all that track. Toad Harbor? I didn't even go on the upper path in the very beginning where you can like jump on the canopies. I just realized. I usually don't go for that path. I know it's faster, but it's too risky. 
Anytime I try and go that way, I always get bumped off and then I get mad. Wait, I feel like I'm gonna put every single track in like A or B. I just love Mario Kart. Um. I think Toad Harbor is very good. I love the music, the environment is fun. The only thing I don't like about the environment is that it is very hard to see ahead, so you kind of like have to memorize the track in order to be good at it, in my opinion. Next track. Wish did mansion. For some reason, I would I would always mix this track with Bowser's Castle just because of the gate at the beginning. <clears throat> For the longest time, I didn't know you could trick on those carpets. <laughs> also, why is there dirt in the castle? Kind of gross, IMO. Okay, this. Love that line. I always try and go for, for the upper path now, because it's like slightly faster. But it is a lot more difficult to get the upper path when you're doing 200cc. Because you're going a bit too fast. Okay, I'm hoping I get a mushroom the third lap, that way I can do the skip at the beginning. why part of the mansion is like underwater it makes no sense to me but I guess a flooded basement is really scary okay I actually nailed the line that time <laughs> the skeletons with the hammers are so scary nice try okay I'll just show this line this was another skip that I didn't realize was there for a long time I think it's because that is one of the more well-hidden skips. Because if you don't look at that sidewall, you just assume it's a wall. You don't necessarily see the whole thing. Easy! I should have made them hard computers. Mansion? I used to genuinely hate this track. And I don't know why I hate it. <laughs> I think it's like the final section where after you're on the parachute and then you have to go on the step section and then the final turn with the, the knights. I always hated that part, but once I memorized the line, I got a bit better at it. So, I think this track is decent. It's always, like, super forgettable to me, in my opinion. It doesn't stand out. Call me biased, but I love Shy Guy Falls. It's definitely one of my favorites. But it's also one that I don't remember unless I see it. Like, I, I usually don't name it off. But whenever I play it, I love it so much. Ignore that. This first line... I think it's like one of the meanest in all of Mario Kart. It's genuinely so difficult. And similar to the one S line in the... We'll see it later in one of the Rainbow Road tracks. 
If you mess it up, it like ruins your whole day. The little Shy Guy sounds are so cute. I know! I love seeing the fruits of their labor. Hopefully they're getting paid. I love a 200cc when you don't even like hit the second ramp. Okay, I'll make it this time. Ooh, there we go! Easy! Like, making that turn is such a confidence boost, in my opinion. The water section is just fun. Dude, I love this track. That, I swear to god, was not scripted. The upper path. I don't know how much faster it is. It's just, like, kind of cool to be in here. I know there's a skip on the right. That was another one I didn't realize for a long time. I might try it. I usually never go for it because the path is a bit too skinny. If I don't get first place, I am stream. And we try this another day. Yeah, I'm gonna try the skip. Actually, what? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> What happened? Not too shabby. It's fifth place. No way Shy Guy is in first. Rigged. I need a recount. Shy Guy falls. I didn't change scenes. Okay, Shy Guy falls. Call me bias. I think it's... Wait, I can only choose three for best of all time, though. Ooh. I really like it. If it's- if I find three more that I like more than Shy Guy Falls, I'll bump it down, but I think genuinely Shy Guy Falls is so much fun. There's so much different terrain. There's dirt, there's wooden planks, you're on water, there's flying, and when you fly you can take a different path. I think this is one of the most interesting tracks. And most dynamic. And most fun. And I like Shy Guy. Oh no, I love Sunshine Airport. I love this track so much. You know what I'm now realizing? A lot of the tracks that I really like were on the Wii. Nostalgia is so important. And that's why advertisers target kids the most! Because then they're the most impressionable. <laughs> I love how difficult this track is. Because whenever I can make the lines, I feel really good. Ooh, yes sir, three coins! Oh my god, eight coins already, I'm cracked. I know I should go for the bumpers, but I usually don't. Going for the skip? Okay, that was... I think one of my better times ever racing this track. I think that was a pretty good lap. I got tired of holding it. I don't need it. I'm so far ahead. Okay, I didn't track because I didn't want to go too fast. This track feels simultaneously long but also short. I also like how no section of this map it overlaps over itself. Like it's a like it's a pretty it's not an oval shape. But you can look at the map and you're not overlapping at all. Oh my god. Okay, I made it on the top almost every time. 
I know there's a skip on the grass path on the left side there. I don't go for it. Because you need a mushroom. And it's not often that I have one. Oh, dude, this track is so much fun. I love it. It's so good. Oh, no. Is it, like... Is it best of all time, though? Uh... Sunshine Airport is up there. You know, I've had multiple families work for the airlines. So, you know, it's in my genes to like the airport. I know for another track I critiqued earlier, I said I don't like when it's just like constant turns. But this one had a few more cruise sections. I think the beginning is the most difficult. And then it, I think... Wait, I think that's why I like it so much. Because like the first third, very complex lines, very inside your heavy. The middle, you're just coasting. It gradually gets easier as you complete a lap, so that way when you loop again, you have to be dialed back in. It's like gambling. Oh no. <laughs> um, next race. I was, I was pressing X instead of A. I'll say it, I don't like this one. I used to hate it, now I don't like it, but I, I still don't like it. I'm gonna race with like an open mind though. I'm not gonna like be too biased. I do really like the music. The music is top tier. The actual math? This part right here makes me Genuinely so mad. Oh my god, I lived. Like, the way you can jump in the water is so unpredictable. Right here, the trumpets. Oh my god, so good. Okay, someone told me I can just coast and fly like that. That way I can just skip this whole final S-shaped line. And you know what? That has literally changed my life for the better is one of the main reasons why I don't hate this track anymore. I think going for this right path is a little bit easier. Because I think the pipes in the center are a bit too unpredictable. <laughs> I don't know why I always mess up this one. Oh, dude, it's so nice to just coast. I think a dolphin ate the shell for me. Thank you. I'm gonna go for the lift. Okay, I've never ever gone that way, and I think that way was kind of dumb. I guess I gotta stay to the far right. Yeah, I'm gonna try without coasting. Cause you go a bit too fast. Oh, I, I always overshoot. I think it's cause when I play, I have auto accelerate turned on. I don't do press to accelerate. So it does make it a bit more difficult. I'd rather break than accelerate. But I think just coasting over the finish line is the way to go. Okay, after playing Dolphin Shoals with an open mind, I like it a bit more. I don't want to say it's meh, because I, I know, like, Rubric Rise, this is a good track. But I just, I have too much trauma. My first meh of the day. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, get your Twitter fingers ready. Get ready to cancel me for today. Electrodome. I used to love this track so much, but now I kind of hate it. I don't know why I hate it. I think it's this line. It's like too long to hold a drift. It's similar to the one line in Water Park, but it's like not as fun. Also, <laughs> sometimes when I do this part, like seeing the track above me makes me kind of queasy, like unironically. I have like a little bit of motion sickness. At times, the music is bumping though. I thought there was railings. Little trick, bump on this to get a little boost. go down the left path, I never go right. This is one of the few times where right is not right. What I throw? <laughs> Dude, my lines! I'm playing with my pro controller, I have no excuse. Dude, this is second lightning bolt. It's so funny when you bump other players off and there's no railing, and then I did it. So good. Okay, I need to be actually focusing. Easy! Electrodome? used to be one of my favorites, but like after seeing all the Mario Kart tracks, I think this one is kind of boring. Visually it's interesting, but overall, like the lines are too complex, the turns are a bit wide, and I think it kind of has to be that way because of the anti-gravity mechanic. Like I don't think there's many levels, or I don't think there's many tracks to where there's anti-gravity and then like really complex turns. So I think that's the reason why I don't like it. Anyway, Electrodome is meh. I'm sorry, cancel me. And you know what else you might want to cancel me for? Running ads, because guys, we are an hour in a stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, all new tier 1 subscriptions are 25% off. And gifted subs are also discounted as well until January 2nd. So guys, subscribe or gift subs today. Do it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys earlier, but... My friend convinced me to treat myself and buy Baldur's Gate. So I'm gonna play that after stream today. I'm gonna bang some orcs. <laughs> not on stream. I I'm not doing it on stream. Because if I played Baldur's Gate on stream, my commentary would just be YO! the whole time. That would be the commentary. <laughs> Back to Mario Kart.
Mount Wario. I have thoughts about this race. I mean, I have thoughts about this track. Oh wait, where are we dropping, boys? Wait, we're only- we're 12 in? We're only a quarter through and it's been an hour. Uh-oh. I think the music in this track is amazing. I am a big fan of non-looping tracks that are, like, fully linear. Like, okay, go for the skip. Yo! I mean- I think my least favorite part is this part. This part seems kind of silly. Like, why are we, like, underground? I don't want to get lung cancer from the mole. The Going rat, because rat is rat. The tree, you literally cannot see ahead. It is very scary. Oh my god! <laughs> I found like a better line to go through this tree section and I missed. Oh my god, all my adorn fins! Okay, this most difficult part of the whole track. Literally everybody runs into a wall there. But you know what? I didn't. But I did mess up the trees. No, why are you doing this to me now? It'll never catch up. Come on! Easy. I used to hate Mount Wario exclusively because of the tree section. And yes, I did fumble <laughs> that part today, but I know it, you have to stay to the left because there's less foliage on the left from what I've noticed. I think Mount Wario is a very good track. I think it's fun, very terrain. The music is very good. I really like it. Oh, I didn't mean to skip it, sorry. I don't understand why there's, like, ships in the sky. Like, creatively, I don't get why this is canon. Like, maybe this is us infiltrating, like, Bowser's ship or something? I think this is a track that I always forget about, but I always enjoy playing. Besides this part, the lightning bolts are BS. Because the indicator that the lightning is going to strike doesn't, like, spawn soon enough. Oh my god, I made it! I never make that skip. I'm correct. Maybe it's because I had, like, so much sugar today. I had a Gatorade, and then I had a piece of cake. I was gonna get a no sugar Gatorade, but you know, it doesn't hit the same. I just wanted you guys to see the shocking animation. Okay, that skip is a lot easier than I remember. I usually just never go for it, but it's not too bad. <laughs> At least it took me forward. I don't know why there's these, like, trampolines. Wait, I think this is Bowser's base, because they have Bowser's base on it. That just clicked. And I've been playing this game for how long? I was 
just thought it was like Jack and the Beanstalk. But we're just in Bowser's base. Who knew? Cloud Top Cruise? I used to not like it because of the one ship section. We have to like do the roundabout section. That part was very difficult. But once you have an inside drift, it became a lot easier for me. I would say meh. Like the lines are kind of fun. The lightning bolt section isn't fun at all. But everything else is really good. I would say it's decent. hate this track. I don't think anything can change my mind. I don't like this track at all. You'll see why. Yeah, just starting off with a bang, huh? Okay, I used to be so bad at this part, but now I'm, like, kind of good. Okay, I think the best way to get past this line is to just hold a single drift and go for the outer paths. Surprise it didn't fall off. This track is difficult for no reason. Dude, I know. Also, it makes no sense that, like, that final section is sand, but you go the same speed. Like, I know it's called Dry Dry Runes, just make the whole track sand. Similar to how they have ice levels in, like, the platformer Mario, just, like, make this all dirt. And see how people can race on it. I think that'd be interesting. Okay, the strat is you hold inner path, outer path, and then you go here. I think that's the best line you can make, that's, like, the safest. Dude, I think it's been literally years since I got into that upper path. Oh, the way you land is so bad, though. Okay, I'll try it again. The main reason why I don't like this track is because, like, visually, everything is too similar. Like, everything is this reddish-orange. It's very difficult to, like, see ahead when there's no, like, visual indicator of what is path and what is not. Oh, that was horrible. I also never go for the left path because I always fall off. I don't want to get ratioed. Oh, I didn't have enough speed. Also, those bow dry bones at the end always screw me. And not like in the fun way. <laughs> I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I don't like this track. I'm sorry. Nothing can redeem it for me. I think it's the worst. I genuinely hate it. I'm not going to say anything else. It's so bad. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Bowser's Castle. I love the Bowser levels. You know, going into it, it's gonna be difficult. And the gate opening at the start? Iconic. I do wish the Bowser statue at the start just pointed you in the wrong direction. I think that'd be funny. Okay, you have to hit one of those projectiles. It's a given. So fun. The lasers! 
I love the tracks where they add something different every lap. Like, I remember my first few times playing this, I would always forget the lasers would be at the start, so it would get me every single time. Two blue shells? What is this madness? I know I'm good, but like, give me a chance. Jeez. I try to go for the upper path just so I can get the trick at the end. I don't know if it's necessarily faster. Don't quote me on that. I think this track was made for inside drift builds. That was the piece in Skip, everybody. Dude, easy. Easy. I used to be generally, like, horrible at this track, but now that I have most of the lines memorized, I really like it. If you would have asked me like three years ago what I thought about Bowser's Castle, I would say meh. I think it's really good. It's- you don't necessarily- you can't really predict like what's gonna happen next in the track. So I think it's definitely one of the harder ones to memorize. Because there's so many like different like obstacles you have to avoid. And for the- the spiked ball and then the fireballs, you can't necessarily time those, so that is like purely reaction based. And I think that mechanic is like annoying, but also. Excuse me. I think that mechanic is annoying, but also really fun. So I think Bowser's Castle is very good. I really like it. It's also made for my build. Rainbow Road. I think this is the second most difficult Rainbow Road. I love how you can see the track like overlapping up ahead. It's so much like, like the cars you'd play with when you're little. Oh no, I said this earlier, but like that turn, if you mess it up, it like affects your whole outlook and mood for the rest of the race. Because if I flub that turn in the first lap, I'm just sad. I'm sad. What? It's the mushroom. I'm not supposed to use it yet. Watch this. Wait. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to do the skip. Don't worry. Only fools go for the boost pad pad. You will guarantee die if you do. Get boomed. Dude, am I cursed to never do this turn properly? I think this section is like the most boring part of the track. But it also gives you a moment to like calm down. Because otherwise the rest of the lines in the track are very difficult. Dude, perfect. Okay, I like to go for the inner path mainly because like less people go on it, from what I've noticed when playing online. Okay, I'm just using my items right away because I want to focus more on the actual track than like item usage right now. Okay, watch this. No! <laughs> I promise I can do it! Dude, the 
these computers are insane. Classic. I think in order to go on the boost pad path, you have to, like, not accelerate at all. I don't know why he just ran off like that. That was not intentional, I promise. Rainbow Road! I think it's very good. Out of all the Rainbow Roads, I think this is the one where you do have to be the most dialed in. Visually, it's really fun. I like it. It's not too hard on the eyes. I think it's similar to Sunshine Airport in the sense of, like, the beginning and the end are very difficult, and then the center part you just cruise. Like, it gets you ready for the next section. I think Rainbow Road is a very good track. For the longest time, I thought this was one of the more boring tracks because it's very flat. You know, like just like any old Midwestern town. But the lines are actually, like, kind of difficult. I also didn't know you could trick on those for a while. We get a little boost, so always aim for those if you can. The lap is also very short. I do think the cows are easier to avoid in the Switch version. Three. It feels like it's been 10 seconds. Well, oh my god, I'm lapping one of the computers. Um, get good, scrub. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for the right path. I missed it. I lied. Ooh, jackpot. I missed him. That went very quickly. I wanted it to last longer. Moo Moo Meadows? I think I might have nostalgia, like, bias. Objectively, I think it's a meh track. It's very short. It's very flat. Like, the only way to get ahead is if you're able to trick in that final section, that way you get a few extra boosts. But because of my nostalgia bias, I'll say it's decent. It's kind of forgettable in my opinion. Like, it's still very fun to play, but, like, not objectively good compared to the other tracks. Mario Circuit. I just realized I should have played as Mario. 
Anyway, it's fine. I'm going into this with a bias. I think this is one of my least favorite Mario Circuit tracks. I don't know why, because line-wise it's very similar to like the first Mario Circuit track. I think it's this part here with the oil spills. They get me so mad. Because I will do everything in my power to avoid them. But then I get rammed, and then I skid and I slime. I think this track is boring. The turns are very wide. This is one of the baby tracks, because it is Mario Circuit. Ooh, there's a skip on the right. But you kind of need a boost to go for it. Let's get another... <laughs> Let's get another item. I legitimately never go down that path. In my opinion, it's like not worth it. Oh my god, see, I've fallen off. You don't worry, I can catch it. Easy. See, like, the oil spills are right where, like, the tightest lines would be. It's very annoying. Your lines are so clean. Thank you. Bye, wolves. We'll see you next time. Thank you for coming in and hanging out. Okay. Now, guys, don't... Do not get mad at me. Please. Mario Circuit... I don't like it. It's boring. And the oil slicks make me really mad. It's meh. It's eh. Love this track. I don't know why there's like a parachute here. It seems kind of out of place. Also, I always go under the water here. I don't think it's like any faster, I just like it. I like to get a little cool down. The bike gets hot. I think a big reason why I like this track is because there's so much change in terrain. There's dirt, there's sand, you, you can possibly go underwater. The music is fun visually. It's colorful. I'm at the beach. I feel like I'm on vacation. I definitely think this track is very simple. This is one of my better tracks. Like, if I get this one in online, I usually do pretty decent. Here's like a subtle, it's like not a full S turn though. It's just a U turn. I think it's cute seeing the cheap cheeps like pop out of the water too. If you like genuinely stay on the sand for this part, you're just wasting your time. Just go underwater. Come on. And the ramps at the end, they're just fun. They're just there to give you something to press. Cheap, cheap beach. I really, really, really like cheap, cheap beach.
but objectively, I don't think it's a very good track. A lot of people hate Cheap Cheap Beach, and I'm not gonna say they're influencing my ranking, but I get why people don't like it. But I personally love it, so you know what? Screw them, I'm putting it in very good. <laughs> I'm putting it in very good because I'm very good at it. Yes, sir. Toad's Turnpike? Toad's Turnpike? More like Loads Learn Bike. I hate this track. Any track that has cars is an immediate L for me. It may not necessarily be faster, but I always go for the right path just so, like, I don't hit any cars. You know, I'm traumatized. I've gotten in three accidents in my life. Twice when I was a baby. But, uh, you know what? At least we're going with the flow of traffic. Like, this feels like I'm a rebellious teen who got a motorcycle because I hate my dad. <laughs> Here, I'll stay on the road. Thankfully, no cars. Oh, wait. Actually, no cars. Ain't no way. Oh, flying is so scary. I never go for the air path. You know, this track is fun where I can just, like, dodge all the cars. <laughs> oh. God, it's so scary because, like, you can never land properly. I do like new followers because guys we are another 30 minutes in the stream so if you're new here click follow you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat okay I don't know how to feel about Toad's Turnpike I definitely think it sucks but it's not like absolutely horrible like, I'm not gonna throw a fit if somebody picks it. I won't be happy, but I'm not gonna be mad. It's meh. Not my favorite. The cars are scary. The only thing that's redeemable is, like, you can go on the side paths just to basically completely avoid the cars. If they didn't have that, then it would be horrible. But for now, it's eh. Dry, dry desert. If it's so dry, why is there water? I think they're doing false advertising. <laughs> I hate this track. With a passion. It's a similar issue to the Bones one, where the colors are just too similar. Also, this line is too difficult at the start. Like, you gotta be a pro. Which, I guess I am, because I nailed it. I usually mess up. It's probably because the sand slows you down a little bit. Does it? This doesn't feel too fast. I do like how the out-of-bound sections, there is a lot of terrain. 
So if you do get like a triple mushroom, you can just zoom through the dirt areas. Ooh, dodge like a pro! Not that one. I kinda wanna fall in the middle of this just to see like what happens. <laughs> I wish there was an animation of you just falling and then dying. An in game. Okay, first place, easy. Nami missing all the boxes? Hello? why people don't like 200 cc it's so nice because you can go on the dirt and it doesn't like kill your momentum too much i do like how you can trick on that final water ledge <laughs> okay that track was a lot more fun than i remember like, actually sitting down and playing it was kind of fun. But, I'm letting my bias lie. It's one of the worst. It's too yellow. It's ugly. The sand, I think, does make you go slower. Even though I said having sand... Having more sand in the bone-dry ruins... Or having more sand in the bone-dry dunes would be kind of cool. I actually kind of hate it in reality. I don't like it. Donut Plains 3. I don't get why there's so many colored blocks. It looks like a kid left their toys out in the lawn. no sense. Like, just that really squiggly part. And this line at the end, this really sharp U-shaped turn, it's very difficult. Like, this track seems like it'd be simple, but it's surprisingly really hard. Okay, watch this. <laughs> I kinda did it. That's the Clint Stevens skip. Oh wait, I kinda did it that time. The water reflection graphics are very nice though, I'll admit it. It is very annoying whenever you fall off these little like wooden bridges and then you get stuck underneath. It is not fun. <gasps> the odds. My lines were better. Screw you, shy guy. Donut Plains Three. I personally, I don't like this track still. It's very difficult. And for most of the other tracks that I deemed as difficult, I would practice, but this one is like not fun to practice. Cause the one section where it has the underwater part and then it's just like a really tight squiggly line, it's very difficult. And I genuinely don't know how people do it good. I'm saying meh. I don't like it. 
It's not like fun. It's too difficult and like too challenging just because of that one section. I don't like it. I used to not like this track because for some reason every time I play online people would always pick it and <laughs> Shucks. I don't think I've ever heard her say that but this first line I don't get why it's so hard it's so difficult otherwise the rest of this track is like nice a lot of straight shots the turns are pretty wide. It's like pretty chill to play. This is one that I can like zone out and just play normally. I don't have to be too dialed in. But that first turn, I think because it's too wide, you have to like hold the drift in a certain way in order to nail the turn. Yeah, I'm gonna try and hold one drift here. So you turn purple and then I. Okay, I made it that time. But since I'm like... Because usually I always release the drift when I, whenever I have to make a turn. So here. And then if I have to make like an, a U-turn or an S-shaped turn, I'll hop. But you can't really hop on that first turn. So like, it's not good for my playstyle. Visually, I think this track is cute, though. Seeing the confetti at the start is a nice touch, too. Makes me feel like I'm actually there. Th another time where I nail a turn and the blue shell just steals my glory. Another one? Dude, this is normal items. I'm good. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Royal Raceway. I think it's decent. To me, it's kind of forgettable. It is definitely one of the more chill tracks, like, to me, skill-wise, the majority of it is like a Mario Circuit track, but the first turn, since it's so wide, is insanely difficult for no reason. Maybe it's because I'm using a bike? I bet that turn would be a lot easier with a, with a cart. Anyway, I think it's decent. I love this track so much. Words cannot describe how good this track is. This is the 24th This is the 24th race. We're officially halfway through. This first line S-shaped turn so much fun. Ignore that, please. Okay, the skip right here. It is really funny playing online and seeing everybody go for that skip. <laughs> everybody trying to cram onto that little ramp. Ooh. 
Wait, there's a ship? I never even saw that ship. I usually stay on the right path, because going for that small left path at the very end is a bit risky in my opinion. If I'm like feeling confident, I'll go for it, but usually I don't. Oh, getting this skip right here is just so satisfying. It makes me feel like I'm good at the game. Okay, I'll try and go for it. See? Because my playstyle, since I have auto accelerate, I break. So in order to make the in order to make that turn, I usually break too much. I need to break the habit. Something that does help is that I'll tap B instead of holding B. And I have a bit more control. Whenever I do need to break on turns. <laughs> Mistakes were made. No clippers, please. DK Jungle. DK Jungle is like my top pick for any time I'm at a lobby or doing online. If it pops up, I will automatically pick it. I think the skip in the middle of the track is very fun. I think I do think the end section of the parachute is very boring. Yeah, nothing else to say. I just really like it. Because I'm really good at it, that's why I like it. I'm biased. Okay, officially halfway through. 24, more to go. Man, he's got fire. Kind of scary. <laughs> Wario Stadium used to be one of my least favorite until I got an inside your fight. Now it's like really fun to play. This section is kind of BS. Oh, you can maybe hit the fire. This Z-shaped turn was the end of me. I had no clue how to do it, but look, I can nail it every time now. Ew, just like Excite Bike L. There's so much change in terrain on this version. There's a lot of places you can shrink. There's a good handful of like S-shaped turns. It's a really good mixture of different track styles, I think. Like here, except like you're just tricking. Really difficult, complex turn with complex drifts. I've never had that happen. <laughs> I didn't even know you could hit that. Bruh. And then underwater for some reason? Like, how did they get the cameras in the water? I think it's because in 200cc I'm getting a lot more momentum and a lot more height because of it. I think the first section kind of eases you into how this track will be. Come on! It's kind of cool how on that Z line, you can see the streaks where other people raced. Do so you know where to ride? Ah, this track is so good. I don't know why 
used to hate it. It's because of that one Z-shaped turn. If I don't know one section of a track, it ruins it for me. But now that I've aced it, this track is genuinely really fun. Mario Stadium? Very good. Oops. Very good. I like it a lot now. There's a lot of sections to trick. There's a lot of different, like, track mechanics throughout. Very good. Why is there a rainbow on the starting line? Pride month is over. <laughs> I have no clue how to get on that side path. I legitimately have no clue. feels like the actual track widths on this one are larger. Because that section we were just in, the turns are very wide. Like, it's probably better for a cart build. Maybe if you go underwater, you get that left path. I'll try it next lap. Also, for the longest time, I didn't know there was a double item box on that side. <laughs> I just didn't even look. Because when I used to play, my playstyle was just like get the tightest line. So like looking at the map. And like just getting the tightest line. I did not factor in like skips or items. So now I try to look out more for where specifically double boxes are or where more coins spawn. Oh! Wait, I, I lied. I said I was gonna go underwater. I forgot. I'm sorry. Because with Mario Kart now, I've been playing for so long, it's just muscle memory. Like, when I see a track, I I bet I could, like, draw the maps from memory. Like, legitimately. Not right now, though. I need to practice. Oh, I told you I'd go underwater. I didn't lie. Okay, that probably cost me the race. Saved. Sherbert Land? I think it's decent. The only part I don't like is the middle section, like, with, like, the wider turns when it's just, like, in the empty snowfield part. It's, like, kind of boring. Otherwise, the track itself is fine. It's another one that I, like, forget exists. So I, I just think it's fine. Music Park. I used to love this track. I think because it visually is very interesting. And seeing the instruments play in the background is so fun. Oh, also this first turn. Oh, the guaranteed purple drift's so fun. Now this turn, similar to the Rainbow Road, if you mess up this turn, it dictates the whole rest of your race. Oh, saved. <laughs> but until I had an inside drift build, I legitimately could never do that turn. I would always fall off. 
and then be stunlocked the whole lap. Yeah, I never go for the skip. It's too scary. Why would you not go on the piano keys? They actually play when you ride on them? Dude, the same mistake. What am I doing? Okay, I think I'm going too fast. I love this part because you can just like fly over everything. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. I'm gonna go for the skip. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I, I did it. I didn't do it good, but I did it. Oh my god. Okay, kind of BS that the Prana ate my shell. Really? Okay, I had to break more. There we go, perfect! Wow! <laughs> oh wait, that was a bit better? I basically had to stop all momentum before I went for the skit. I guess I'll practice that one more. Music Park used to be like my favorite of all time just because I love the mechanic of like the piano sounds playing when you go in certain parts of the track. I used to also hate it because of that one Z-shaped turn in the center, but now that I can do it, most every time. I really like this track. I just need to practice the skip more and then I think I will really like this track. Because something that really put me off in this track is like seeing people do the skip at the end and I just never going for it. But I think I just need to practice. So Music Park I think is very good. Yoshi's Valley. This is technically a sanctuary. So it's kind of good that we don't see any Yoshis on the road, because I would for sure hit them. Ooh, I actually made it. I think that is the fastest path. Something that I, I don't really like about this track is that there's so many paths at the beginning. It makes me anxious. You know, I don't leave home without a GPS. So not knowing which specific way to go is annoying. Oh, and that ramp is so taunting at the end. Let's go to the rat this time. I forget there's like a, a cannon here. That took like twice as long, it seems. Really not worth it. There's also a lot of wide turns in this final section of the, of the lab. Let's go left and then right. Oh, okay! <laughs> I never go this way, I don't know the lines. Oh, that's so confusing. I did not like that path at all. Seems like my momentum is higher, though. Oh, probably because, like, the cannon cooks your momentum. Oh, 
easy. I definitely think Yoshi Valley is one of the more dynamic tracks. You can choose so many different paths to take. It can be overwhelming, but once you find a path that you know easily memorize it, it'll be good. The final section, the egg at the end spinning, I just didn't even mention because I don't care about it anymore. I can dodge it pretty easily. I think there's only one skip and it's the ramp at the very end. But you need a boost. I don't like the skips that require a boost. I think they're kind of an L. I think Yoshi Valley, objectively, good track. Not one of my favorites. Objectively, it's still a very good track. It has a little bit of something for everyone. And you know what I also have for everybody? An ad. Because guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, until the end of the month, only three days left, all gifted subscriptions and new tier ones are up to 25% off. So guys, today is the day to subscribe. Do it. Yeah, ain't no shot <laughs> I could do a stream with all 96 tracks. I'm already tired and I'm barely- or, okay, I'm a little over halfway. Dude, how am I gonna have energy for Baldur's Gate later? It's fine. I'll just use my Riz. <laughs> Back to it. I love Mario Kart. So much. No, genuinely, I love Mario Kart so much. It's my favorite game of all time. Nothing will beat it. Tick tock on the clock. <laughs> I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> Yeah, it is cute how the gate is an alarm, but it is annoying. The music is crazy for this track, though. This first section, I think, is the most difficult part. Difficult lines, and then you cruise. And then you end off with... And then you end off with a pretty easy turn. Yo! <laughs> I never trick off the hand. I can never control where I land. Dude, so many lightning bolts. Maybe because I'm playing so much in one sitting, but it seems like I'm getting bolted every single race. how there's some- oh my god! I think my controller is broken. I like how you go like inside and then outside and then back out. Like the lighting change is interesting to me. <laughs> Dude I didn't even see it, I thought it was a freaking coin. Dude the same- <laughs> They must have changed like the item. Spawn rate. Okay, I don't know why I never go for the boost pads. Maybe because, like, I hate going fast. You know, I can't be the... The backup actor for Sonic, unfortunately, for that reason. I always coast. I never try to land on the gears. Because spinning left and right makes me queasy. Clock. It's 
definitely not amazing. It's pretty good. But I don't think it's too memorable. Like, theme-wise, it's very unique. But... I, like, forget about it. So I'd say it's decent. It's a... It's a bait. I hate this one. I have no reason why, I just hate this track. It's so dark, it's gloomy. I don't like it. The only sun you ever see is at the very start. It's like, honey, I'm going to work in the factory. I have a vitamin D deficiency. Okay, that first line is like not fun. Why is, why is like the main path at a lower level? Also, that was a sick bomb dodge. Flawless. Also, the piranha plant is scary. I think this final line is near impossible at 200cc to do cleanly. Because the parachute is very difficult to land. I'm just shitting on this track. Yes, I cursed. That's my first curse of the day. I hate this track. I don't like it. This part is like kind of fun, like staying on the upper platform, but like otherwise. No bueno. Dude, I think my controller's broken. Like, legitimately. Okay, I'm gonna try and land right away. Okay, that was a tad easier. I think you just gotta land right away with your parachute. <laughs> See, he's so scary. I don't wanna be eaten. Unless it's in Baldur's Gate. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Wait, okay, legitimately? My drifts aren't working. Like, my drifts aren't, like, turning the right way. It's fine. I There was nothing that could have saved this track anyway. I hate it. I hate it. It's automatically the worst. Insufferable. I hate it. I don't need to justify my reasoning. It's just bad. It's bad. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can calibrate my controller. Because sometimes when I'm drifting, it's not, like, turning properly. Yeah, the stick is working. Buttons are working. Okay, because it's like my triggers that aren't working. Bah. It's fine. Technically, this is my sister's controller. <laughs> so I'd have to buy her a new one. Rumble Volcano. One of my favorites on the Wii. 
but will it be my favorite on the Switch? Watch till the end to find out. Such a dumb bit. Like, I just hope I never have to do, like, the scripted YouTube prompts. Like, when I start doing that, that's when I'm giving it to the corporate overlords, guys. I usually go for the left path. Because I just think it's more impressive to be, like, Kyra. Oh, wait, how? Why did the parachutes spawn? Weird. I think this final section is the hardest part. Like, landing this has always been difficult for me. I like the mechanic of, like, the level actually falling apart, but it is, like, kind of scary to play. I'm not, like, okay, whenever I say I'm scared, I'm not actually scared. It's more like I'm anxious playing it. <laughs> Wait, I dodged the lightning? Lightning skin? I usually don't trick on the final ramp because then I gain too much momentum and go too far straight. This is when it gets tricky. Ooh, it's so skinny. Dude, what am I- I swear to god my controller. Let's go to the right then. Ra is ra. This doesn't feel as like tight. He's not gonna get me. Easy. Don't trip. Easy. Grumble Volcano. Very good track. There's so much different mechanics within it. There's different paths you can take. The little fireballs that jump around, obstacles to dodge, the track literally falling into the lava when it makes sense in the actual environment. Objectively, Grumble Volcano is such a good track. Your detail is very accurate, thank you. I'm always right, and you know that. Before I even play it, I'll say it, this is the worst Rainbow Road. Genuinely, this one is so freaking boring. I do appreciate how this is a non-looping track. But it's so boring! The turns are way too wide. It's objective- <laughs> It's objectively, in my opinion, a very easy track, so it's just like not fun. This one feels like it's for babies. Everyone was complaining, Rainbow Road is so difficult, so they made this one. So that we can feel like you're good at a Rainbow Road track. If you say this is your favorite Rainbow Road, then I'm sorry, you're a scrub. Also, the chain chomps are like really frustrating to dodge. Okay, I'll stop shitting on it. It's fine. I, I just want more turns. I want tighter turns. And another thing is like, why is there railings on only one side of the track? I can. That was on purpose. See, I can follow up at any point. I like playing bowling with gutters on, okay? I don't care if I look like a little baby, just put railings on the track. Please. Please. 
first easy, because this is the easiest Rainbow Road. It's not impressive. If you get first in this Rainbow Road, it's like saying you got first in a spelling bee to... If you got first in this Rainbow Road, it's like getting first in a spelling bee of only third graders. It's not impressive. I don't like this one. I wouldn't say that this Rainbow Road is like the worst track of all time. Wait, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's here. I couldn't even find the thumbnail. This Rainbow Road, the thumbnail? It's like not even rainbow. It's brown. Wait, you guys can't see it. It's brown. You can barely see the rainbow. It's meh. I don't like it. For a rainbow road, it's very disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, next race. <laughs> Yoshi's Circuit. I like this one a lot. Design one? Design-wise, this one is so impressive because the track is actually shaped like Yoshi. And I learned that from watching a YouTube short, like, a few years ago. I just never noticed. <laughs> I'm not the type of the play- I'm not the type of player to, like, look at the map when I play. I don't, like, try to snipe people with items. Like, I don't care about that. All I care about is myself and my own lives. I don't understand why this part is so curvy. It, like, makes no sense. Like, I don't think there's any way you can drift on every single little turn they have there. But I understand it's the horns on Yoshi's back. I want to shroom so I can- I'll do the skip anyway. Next lap, so I do not have enough momentum. I just don't know how to like do that part. I usually go to the right of the piranha plant and just hop through the grass because I just don't want to deal with the road at all. Yo, watch this. I'm gonna go for the skip. <laughs> Too small. But that's how you do it. You can do it at 200cc without a mushroom, or if you're at a lower cc, just use a mushroom. Just make sure whenever you turn, you don't go straight in. You have to do it at like a slight diagonal, like left to right. So this is what I usually do. I hop to the... I hop to the right of the piranha plant. Easy. Yoshi Circuit? Very good track. It's very fun. You- The way you do the drifts in this track, I don't think are very straightforward. Like, the one part that has, like, Yoshi's horns. Or the Yoshi with the spikes on his back is very confusing to me. But it's kind of exciting, you know, something new. Objectively, it's a very good track. And design wise, very fun. The music is nice. The music gets me like pumping ready to go. Very good track. Excite bike. This is for little babies.
Look, I'm just going straight. And then I do little tricks. Wow! Okay, also the mud piles are kind of BS. They ruin my drifts, and it makes me sad. Another big reason why this track isn't for my playstyle is that since the lines are very simple, it's not necessarily too skill focused, it's more about your items. And if you get lucky or not. And I usually don't get lucky! Okay, it is kind of nice here in the crowd chair whenever I do tricks. Also, I think the music makes me anxious. Like, the normal speed is fast and then the super sped up is too fast. If you're doing like an online match, if you don't get the double item boxes every time you're cooked, like nothing can save you. You can't come back from that. Woohoo! I hate this track. It's the worst. I do not like it. Excite bike. The absolute worst. I'm committing. I don't think anything can redeem it. That's all I will say. Sorry, I got an email. Okay. Back to it. Dragon Driftway. I think this is one of the more forgettable tracks. I don't know why. It's also really difficult. <laughs> I forgot these first two turns are crazy! They're separating the boys from the men. Ew, reminds me of Excite Bike. Watch this. My first blue shell annihilation of the day. Another one? What the frick? I almost said the F word. I was so mad. Another one? <laughs> Three blue shells in like 10 seconds? What is going on? Nintendo, fix your game. And I need to fix my gameplay. We both have things to work on. Okay, I haven't said like anything about the track. <laughs> Cause like, I genuinely have to focus. I haven't played this track in so long. Cause it doesn't show up often in online, so like, I don't have them lines memorized. Oh 
Oh, there's Koopas on the wall. That's cute. grass patch. There's no other grass in the entirety of the level. It's so weird. Okay, I clutched. Easy. Hmm. If I played this track more, I would probably rank it higher. But it's a meh for me. It's just not enjoyable. I don't know. It's too difficult at the start. So it's just very awkward. There's like two very difficult lines right away. Like if there were one and it kind of eased me down, I'd be fine. But since there's two, it's too much. It comes up the gate swinging and I don't like that. this track. I never know if I should go for coins right away. I usually don't. I don't know what other people do. Even though this track is like fully anti-gravity, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a completely linear track. Like flat linear, not like one line. Okay, watch this. There's a skip. Please don't do this to me. Oh, I'm cooked. <laughs> don't worry, I can do it again. For that skip at the very end, you can do it easily at 200 cc, or if you have a mushroom for a lower cc. I remember the first time I saw this skip, it blew my mind. I was about to go present the stream, and he just did it randomly. I was like, oh my god, I never saw that. And it was like so sick. You just have to make sure you build up good momentum here. And then turn early. Dude, you basically fly without the parachute, and then you coast? Oh, it's so good. This drag is genuinely so much fun. And it's a good balance of cruising, and then dialed in. Let's see if I can beat him. Yo! That skip is so much fun in 200cc. You don't need wings to fly. And the music. Mute City? Very good. I love it a lot. Ooh, best of all time? Ooh. I'm moving Mute City up. Objectively, it's really fun. It's really, really fun to play at 200cc. Like, being able to do the skip the end and just, like, fly over everybody. It- The anti-gravity makes sense. Like, this track was made for it. One of the best of all time. so much on the Wii! This definitely has a nostalgia bump for me. But I'll try to set nostalgia aside. My fingers are not crossed.
Okay, the camera angle at the very start is a bit wacky. If you focus on like the actual camera POV, it th does make me want to yank. Those bats are really freaking annoying. I would get legitimately tilted playing it on the Wii and getting stuck in some luck with the bats. I do kind of miss how in the Wii version, whenever you hit the minecarts, you like spin out. But since it has anti-gravity, you just get a boost, and I think that's like so counterintuitive. Like, give, make it an obstacle, like don't make it a boost point. Even if that first section where you go like straight down and then straight back up, it can be difficult if you don't know when to turn left once you get to the very top again. <laughs> oh, that did not happen. Let's go to the left. I very rarely go for this path. I don't think it's faster. It could be, but I don't know. There's no item boxes. I wonder if that traffic light ever turns red. Or is it just always green? Oh, okay. This is stupid. I don't know why is this is here. Hi, Wolves. Welcome back. Can we get some yo's? Feels like a roller coaster, and I really like it. Even though, like, I genuinely hate roller coasters, and I'm not medically allowed to go on them anymore. Because it'll break my brain. So, you know what? I can live vicariously through this track. Wario's gold mine? Oh, I want to make it best of all time. I didn't even do any of the skips, I just realized. Because there's a few corner skips, because some of the edge of the tracks, like, instead of having a flat edge, they kind of tilt up so you can skip a few of the corners. I didn't even do that. Um. Even if Wario's Goldmine is one of my favorites, objectively, I think it's just very good. It's not best of all time, but it is really. I'll put it at the. I'll put it at the top. It is really, really, really good. How many more races? I gotta answer emails. Wait, you know what else I gotta do? Tell you guys to follow the channel. If you're new here, click follow. It's free, you get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Guys, follow right now. And if you're already following, turn notifs on. Smile. Dragon drift weight in met is actually shocking. I've done plenty of dragon drift weight slander, you know this. I used to hate this rainbow road with a passion, but now that I actually know how to drift kind of properly and have a different build, it's not that bad. But you do you do have to be dialed in the whole time you're playing this trick. Like you can't look away and reach at like you 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 legitimately ha you can't do anything else. Like whenever you have a parachute, you can't be scrolling TikTok. None of that. You gotta be dialed in. Focus up. This is also the worst track to get any speed boost. I don't know why I didn't trick there, I'm sorry. <laughs> I moved! What I do like about the inside drift is that I can just drift the turn. I For every turn I can just hold a long drift. Because since majority of these are just like U-shaped turns, you can just hold. You don't have to like change direction halfway through the turn for like an S-shaped turn. What I throw? <laughs> this map is very scary to play online though, because since there's no gar since there's no guardrails, it's so easy for you to fall off. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Really? 
robbed. Rainbow Road? It's decent. It's not as good as the other Rainbow Road. It's decent. I do really like how you have to be fully engaged the whole time. Like, I can't veg out when I play it. I do really like that aspect, but like, once you know how to do it, it's no longer challenging in my opinion. So, it's it. It's decent. Ice, ice, outpost. I played this track a lot recently because we did only snow levels. Oh, they have little winter coats on. That's so cute. Love this track specifically for the music. For some reason, this reminds me of Splatoon. Not music, but just like the whole vibe of this track. And I hate Splatoon. I'll say it. But the music is pretty nice. You're right. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Splatoon hate? Yeah. You know what? I'm not scared to speak my mind. <laughs> Flippers, please. Spare me. Okay, I don't know why I always go for the green path. I should try yellow. Okay, watch this. Dude, I actually did it! I'm like a pro! Okay, I think I'm going too fast, so like, I'm not doing the skips properly. Okay, I'm gonna do the brother. Oh, dude, it's my second bombshell skip! Or not, it's not a skip, it's a trick. Dude, I'm cracked! Maybe I should always stream while exhausted and four hours of sleep. <laughs> Wait, that's actually crazy. I did two of those bomb shell blocks. What is it even called? What's the trick called? I need to know the technical term so I can farm. You have a huge lead, I'm fine. I think the sped up, like the final lap version of this music goes crazy. Oh, I forgot. There's a skip at the very end. I literally never go for it. It's too scary. The paths on all the skips in this track are too skinny. So I, if I'm playing, if I'm playing by myself, I usually go for it. But if I'm doing online, no way. I will only stay on the main path. I used to be an ice ice post hater. Like if you if you would have asked me a year ago, I would have said it's the worst. But I think it's decent. I like it now. Like, I'm trying to practice the skips. And it's a lot more fun when you can do the actual skips. It's decent. It's good. Are the clouds green? I like how there's just like random night characters in the background. It's like, how are they in this world? Yeah, I usually don't go for the ramps at the start. It's too risky at 200cc. I 
still have no clue what opens the center ramp. Yo, this track is so difficult for like no reason. If you hit all the spins, is that really it? Because sometimes when I do it, it doesn't work. Ain't no way. Thank you for the two months. Can we? Get <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Katie. Can we get some? Waities? How would we type in chat? But thank you! I appreciate it. Thank you! Okay, I'm gonna try and hit all the spins. I missed one. Wait! <laughs> it's not worth it! It's genuinely not worth it! Okay, I was gonna say, if you're going to CC, you could just hop here. And you don't lose too much momentum, but I guess I did. Yeah, also the piranha plants are such a nuisance. This track is also like so long. It feels like I've been playing it forever already. I hate this track. Screw you, I don't care. The only thing I like about this track is the music. I almost got him. I think this track is like literally impossible at 200cc. It, I think it's way more difficult than Bowser City. And I don't know why. Like objectively looking at the map, it doesn't look too difficult. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, of, like, why it's so difficult. Maybe because, like, we're going in the building so you can't see too far ahead. I think it's- the roundabout always cooks me. It's genuinely the sword part, the roundabout, I'm just not good at roundabouts. That's it. Hope you enjoy your stream and have fun. Thank you! Glad you were able to watch today. Anyways, peace. <laughs> Thank you. We hope to see you again. But you will get your name written at the end of the stream in the journal, KD. As I hope you got the 25% discount. Dog. Wait, we gotta rank this track. Okay. Guys, you have to promise to not cancel me. This track is not good. You know... I had such high hopes because it's Zelda, and I had never played a Zelda game, so like, legitimately, this was my first exposure to like, anything Zelda game-wise. And it's not it. It's not good. It reminds me too much of a city track, and I hate city tracks, but we'll do that more when we do ranking DLC tracks. Hyrule Circuit is not good. Not good. Then now we can see a bit more. Next race. Baby part? More like lady part. Why does it- That sounded like something else. I hate this track. This one is for actual babies. It's just an oval. You don't need like any skill. It's purely like item RNG for this track. If you say Baby Park is your favorite track, you're just, like, not good at the game. And I bet you love reading your horoscope every morning. I bet you don't like being challenged. Or being talked back to. I bet you're a little baby. 
Dude, I'm getting no items. I'm in fourth. The only thing kind of good about this track is that it's very easy to come back if you're in the battle. Otherwise, it's so bad. Whoever made Baby Bark, I think should, like, make other games. Yo, second! See, like, it's so easy to come back. It's not skill. This track is solely, like, luck. And I hate that. You know what I'm gonna do? Baby Park? The worst. The worst. It's genuinely the worst. So bad. Nothing can redeem it. I used to play it 50 times in a row in customs to farm coins. Why would you, like, torture yourself like that? Like, genuinely. <laughs> the definition of S tier. Boop! And Wolf is like frantic at the keyboard. I mean, D tier. <laughs> Dude, just L after L. Babyland. Hyrule Circuit. Now Cheese Land. Just the worst. Save the best. Save the worst for last. It's like leaving your veggies on your plate. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm going into some of these with so much animosity, it's just like nothing can redeem them. I've played Mario Kart for years and there's like nothing that'll like make it fun. Those holes in the ground used to trip me up so much and I just avoid them now. I don't care if you can trick, I just dodge them entirely. And why is this track anti-gravity? It makes no sense. I don't think we even go upside down. Okay, I'll stop hating. I'll be open-minded. Yeah, the ending like section is kind of fun. The music is also very nice. Cheese land, more like pizza two L land. See, so you got it. You know what's up. Like, genuinely, what's the purpose of the anti-gravity? It makes no sense. Like, we're not- I don't think we've gone upside down. Unless we have editor, I'm um, just cut it out. People always pick Cheeseland online and I can't stand it. I think they just hate themselves and they want everybody else to feel their pain. I really wish I could get some mushrooms, that way I could do the skips at the end. But since I'm like so far ahead, I don't think that's gonna happen. Design-wise, I do like how the ramps for the skips at the end are- TWO BLUE SHELLS AT ONCE?! <laughs> I do like how the ramps are kinda hidden. Like if you're not looking, you wouldn't really notice it. Also, like, the paths themselves feel smaller. Like, not as wide as a lot of the other tracks. I think you guys said it best, Cheese Land, more like Peace I 2 L Land. It's- I don't like it. I don't know anybody who likes Cheese Land. Like, genuinely. If you like Cheese Land, type 1. Like, I- if you're watching this on YouTube, say in the comments you like Cheeseland. I genuinely don't think... Like, out of a thousand people, like, maybe one person likes Cheeseland. Out of all the people I've met, which is... Objectively, not many. <laughs> I've yet to meet a person who likes Cheeseland. And you know what? They are the model minority. I love Wildwoods! Woo! 
You know why I, I like Wildwoods? I've had two TikTok clips pop off with this track in it. So you know what? It's lucky. But also, I just like it. I like how there's two paths right from the start. One to get more coins, one to get a bit more momentum. The left path is more for more coins. This part with the water though, dude, I don't know why. It used to trip me up so much. But now that I like properly know how to drift is not too bad. Let's skip at the end. You can do at 200 cc, but otherwise don't go for it. Unless you have a mushroom. The right path is <laughs> if you can land it, it is kind of difficult. Especially when you're going fast, but since there's two sections to trick off. Oh, that's almost like it. Since there's two sections to trick off of, you get a bit more momentum and speed. Easy. I think the rapids is the best part. And right here, just tricking right after. Oh my god. This track is just like so satisfying. Water park in comparison to this one makes water park D tier. I can kind of understand your reasoning from earlier then. But this track is just like fun all the way through. Okay, I cannot get second. It is not allowed. Ooh, lucky. This track is fun all the way through. I love it so much. Wild Woods? One of the best of all times. I used to, for some reason, it's not that I didn't like it, but I just didn't like enjoy playing it. But once I learned how to do the water rapids part, oh, it's so much more fun. Because it's like a little treat at the end, like, I'm looking forward to playing that part of the map. I love it, it's so good. Next race. I think we have like six left. We're almost near the end, guys. It's also just a comfy map. Yeah! Cannibal Crossing! Okay, a little tip. Whenever this race, or the, whenever this track is loading in, if you press L1, ZL, R1, ZR, you can get different versions of this track. Because there's the spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And we got autumn, because I didn't press anything. In different seasons spawn different environments and then also items throughout. I didn't know that, yeah, we I learned that a few weeks ago when we did the playing only snow games on stream. Objectively, I think this track is really easy. And it being Animal Crossing definitely gives a lot of bonus points. If this was not Animal Crossing themed, I, was, I think I would think this track is boring. But I think one of the better parts is here. Where you can fly through the sky where you have to actually aim to get the item boxes. And then right here when you go on like the low tide section. That is the best part. Dude, why is everybody hogging the blue shells? In the Animal Crossing point, such a good touch. I love when there's like intentional design changes. Like you can tell some intern cooked up that idea and then they went with it. Okay, I never go for the fruit on the ground by the trees because it's too risky. Ah, oh, that section is so good because you can get two item boxes. Oop. Please! 
Easy. Oh, we have four tracks left. Animal Crossing? If this track was not Animal Crossing themed, it would be meh. Because line-wise, it's very simple. I think the best part is the part where you fly to catch the items. I think that part is really creative. But since it has the Animal Crossing boost and you can play different versions based on what button you play when it loads, it's decent. Design-wise, I feel like there's a lot more intent behind the choices they made when building this map. And it has different outro music. It's so good. Okay, four tracks left, everybody. We're almost done. I used to absolutely despise this track, but now I love it. I always choose it whenever it comes on the line because I know people hate this one. This one takes a lot of skill line-wise, that's why. This first line, I think it's also- it's not very difficult, but here, trying to like stop your turn in time after that boost is very difficult in my opinion. Okay, right here. The hardest turn in the whole game, in my opinion. No railings on, on some of the edges. Dude, I'm just holding B. Holding B. Dude, I still got it. You're a hater of this track? Well, I'm a lover. And guys, I'm still single. <laughs> okay, I, don't, I really don't like the sound of me hitting the sign. It triggers me. Now, the reason why I like this track is because I do have to be focused the entire time. And I like that about tracks. This one is for the gamers. The real Mario Carters. Oh, I messed up already. Eh, maybe I can save it. You have the perfect build for it because the tight turns, yep. That's why I love Inside Drift Bikes. Screw the haters, I'll never give it up. Okay, I always try to land right away at that final section. I hate hitting the sign. Yeah, I'm not gonna trick because I can't see you. Oh! <laughs> I know I wasted the horn, but I did not want to hit the banana. I cannot ruin my momentum right now. I hear blue shell. Stolen glory! Dude, he ruined my third turn. Easy. I love this track. Honestly, a flex using Inside Drift? Dude, I get so many comments being like, Inside Drift Bike, Skull Emoji. Why are you using that bike? Everybody online hates Inside Drift. And it's mainly- I read one, like, explanation thing, and it said because after the Wii version, you can't necessarily get, like, an additional turbo boost by using a drift bike anymore. So, like, using a drift bike after the Wii is dumb. According to that one post I read. Anyway. Neo Bowser City? Dude, it's very good. I'm gonna put it at the top. Very good. I love it. And I'm gonna say I love it because everybody hates it. I am a hipster. You have to be focused the entire time. It's perfect for my build. Aesthetically, it's cool. It's like... Punk. I love it. And like I said earlier, I will intentionally choose it in online ranked lobbies just to mess with everybody else. Because I love playing online and me seeing me nail that one turn and everybody else fall off. It's such a good feeling. You know what else is a good feeling? Um, subscribing. Because guys, 
we are another hour in the stream. So it's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if you want to resubscribe or if you want to consider subscribing for the first time ever, it is 25% off until January. And gifted subscriptions are also discounted as well. So guys, today is the day to subscribe. Also, today is a lot of talking. I haven't talked like this for like three days now, so my throat is gonna be cooked. <clears throat> Least chosen color? I think that would be black. Because black is just basic. <clears throat> okay. Next track. Three left, everybody. Almost done. This, I think, is peak Mario Kart. Ribbon Road. This map, like the actual map, looks like a messed up pretzel. Oh, okay, this is another track. You gotta be dialed in the whole time. Okay, I'm not too good at, like, drifting in that first section. For the longest time, I never used to trick on the ribbons, because it's, like, too scary. The block skips on the right are, like, not worth it. I think they're skinnier than the other skip pads. Like an Ice Ice Outpost. I think they're skinnier. I'll still try it. I do not ever go for them, though. Overall, I think the, like, actual lines in this track... It's very twisty and turny like a ribbon. So it's very fun in my opinion. Okay, I lost all of my momentum. <laughs> oh, there's little like... There's little stars, like Rosalina Starbuds. Wait, the computer went for the skip. I have to do it. Okay, if I would have done the skip, I would have gotten bolted, so I would have like lost anyway. The only thing I don't like is if you're in the, like, in the middle or the back, like, everybody gets a good item at the very end. Oh my god, what was that line? <laughs> everybody gets, like, a mushroom or a star, so, like, it's kind of pointless to do the skip at the end. Like, you're still gonna get the same place, you're not gonna advance just because you got a, a speed boost item. Dude, what is up with this first section? I can't do it properly. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try both skips, everybody. Watch. A blue shell in fourth ain't no way. Okay, I don't think that skip is worth it. I think this one here is a tad easy. No! Ooh, I mean... If I hadn't gotten the computer's mushroom, I could have made it. No way, I think that was my first double digits. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Guys, I fell off. Eighth of lanes? I hate everything. But thank you, Mint, for the 10-month resub. Holy moly. Can we get some wince? <laughs> it sounds like lint. <laughs> you know, like L, lint. But thank you for the resub. Can we get some wince in chat? Thank you, Han. I hope you utilize the 25% discount. <laughs> lint. <laughs> Okay, let's see. But thank you, Mint. I appreciate it. Guys, two resubs. That's crazy. Ribbon Road, objectively, a very good track. It is very good. Objectively, a very good track. The skips are, like, difficult enough to where you can, like, sort out who's good at the game and then who's crazy good at the game. The actual lines within the track itself are very fun. 
And I like how you can trick off the actual moving ribbon of the of the track. It makes sense, objectively, design-wise. It is very good. Okay, now we can see the whole thing. Of course, I can't be getting ads on a peace in stream? Exactly. Because I tell you to not get ads. And you actually listen. Are you, like, trying to be the teacher's pet? <laughs> Nah, guys, if you're a brokey and you can't subscribe to, like, your favorite streamers, um, invest in Twitch Turbo. And what's cool about Twitch Turbo is technically the streamer still gets, like, revenue if you're a Twitch Turbo subscriber. It's kind of like how YouTubers get revenue from people who are YouTube Premium subscribers. They get, like, it's separate from your ad revenue, but it still counts. So, if you can't afford to subscribe to my channel... Um, just get Twitch Turbo, and then you can subconsciously, like, support everybody little by little that you watch. Like, you give them a few pennies every month if you're a Twitch Turbo user. <laughs> I obviously can't leak numbers, but whenever Twitch started making the Twitch Turbo income public, um, I've made about the same... Less than a dollar every month. Like, it's the same if you're a Twitch Turbo viewer or if it's, like, revenue from an ad. Because my I don't have, like, an ad deal. The pennies add up, yeah. That's why, like, the larger streamers who average, like, 1k, that's why they run so many ads. Because, like, they make a shit ton of money from running ads. So, it makes sense. It's valid. I've never heard of Twitch Turbo. Um, look it up. I do wish Twitch would, like, promote it more. Because <clears throat> Twitch Turbo, you pay, depending on what region you live in, it's, like, $11 to 15 And you get no ads across the whole platform. So no pre-rolls, no mid-rolls, no nothing. And if you're a streamer, it keeps your VOD archive public for, instead of a week, for two months. So that's why on my channel, you can see VODs that are from, like, um very late October because my VOD archive is extended because I'm a Twitch Turbo subscriber. Um, you learned something today. Okay, two tracks left. Final two. Do I have a command for Turbo? I should make one. I don't. I'll make one. Just remind me at the end of stream. Super Bill Subway? I don't like this track. Peace out to L. It's... I don't like it. I used to hate this map, but it's grown on me? No, I, I still hate this one. I lived by a train track growing up, and... A lot of people would die on the track, so this is, um, hashtag triggering. I do think it's very funny that you can just, like, straight up drive into the train. Like, you would think Nintendo would be like, maybe we should not do this. You know, why hasn't the woke mob canceled Nintendo for being able to crash into a train? Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, this, this final line is so difficult. The roundabouts, they always cook me. I understand, like, why roundabouts are good. Like, they're meant to, like, slow down traffic and not have people speeding through residential areas. But I don't think anybody can, like, master a roundabout properly. Like, everybody clips. Oh my god, two trains. Like, it's so scary! Wait, maybe this map is propaganda for us to, like, not go on the train tracks. I think Nintendo is paid by a big train. Okay, I need to stop joking around and actually analyze. I like how you go through the entryway and the bar lifts up. That is very cute. I have been failing at staying on this rails, but I usually stay on the side rail paths. Oh, why did I go on top of the train? That way I can just avoid the majority of the tracks. Okay, I actually did it. And it's just, in general, faster to go that way. I usually don't trick on that last ramp. 
because otherwise I go flying into the wall. Okay, when I stop making jokes, I actually play good. Maybe I should, like, not be a personality streamer anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should just, like, play the game. I should just dribble. Okay. <laughs> I almost said spell. Super Bell Subway. I would say it's the worst, but I already have so many tracks that are in the worst. <laughs> I said I would put max three, but like these are just bad. Um, it's meh. It's I don't like it. The trains are scary. It's scarier than like the car tracks. I don't like trains. I get hashtag triggered. And like especially since like it's in a subway, you can't necessarily like see the train coming. And there's a few sections you we saw today where there'll be like a a train going away and then coming towards you, and then you're just stuck. It's bad. I hate it. <clears throat> Guys, get ready for the final track. Track 48 of 48 in the original Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. And it is big blue. This track is so fun. It's a non-looping... It's a linear track, so it's not like it loops around each other. And the music? Holy moly! I'll go for the coin pass. I want speed. I am speed. Oh! <laughs> Goddammit, why'd I fall off? I, I, got, I went too fast. I got greedy. Okay, this part isn't my favorite with like the speed and the negative speed paths. It's height. I think this part is like too long. I wish there was like one less section with the speed pads. I know if you go on the left path, you can like drop down and do a skip, but like that's too scary. When I play, I play for like preserving myself not to look cool. Oh. Dude, that is the hardest turn in this map. The final lap! It looks like we're underwater. Dude, this track is so cool. Going right, because right is right. Keep my lines. Easy? No, wait, not another one! Dude. Didn't matter, I still won. Big Blue is one of the best tracks. Uh, I don't know where to put it though. What I do like is that even if it's a non-looping, it doesn't feel like the track is too long. Like it feels like it's perfectly paced. Even at the even at even with the slower CCs, this track is like the perfect length. Oops, wrong scene. <laughs> you guys saw my water cup. <laughs> Okay, the final track, Big Blue, oh no, I don't know where to put it. I already have so many in S tier. Ooh. You know, it's still very good. Big Blue, perfectly paced. It is very fun in 200cc. The only thing that could make it better is if there was somehow a way to add skips, but you can't really add skips in like a more linear track. It is very good. Okay. This is my almost final ranking of all 48 tracks of the original Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. Let's see if I can rearrange. Hmm. I think I have too many in S tier and D tier, so I'm gonna rearrange. Um, Shy Guy Falls is good, but it's not the best of all time. Hmm. Yeah, these can stay. Oh, okay, I'll have max five in S or D tier. Okay, I jokingly said Cheeseland is the worst, but... 
I still like it better than the other ones in D tier. Okay, so everybody, this is definitively my ranking of every single Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track on the Switch. Not the DLC, only the first 48. So, I'm gonna do my best and my worst. So, S tier, best of all time, Sunshine Airport, DK Jungle, Mute City, Wild Woods, and Big Blue. My worst of all time, Bone Dry Dunes, Dry Dry Desert, Piranha Plant Slide, Excite Bike Arena, and Baby Park. Everything else, you know, when you're playing Mario Kart, it's always gonna be a good time. It's always gonna be fun. I haven't had a time where I played Mario Kart and like genuinely got mad. I love it so much. It's my favorite game of all time. I probably will never stop playing it. Mario Kart 9 surely will happen next year, right? Or at least when there's a new console, surely. Okay, so that is my ranking for all 48 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on YouTube, not on Twitch. I mean, you can if you want to, but like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Don't worry, I will do the DLC next time. And by next time, I mean tomorrow. But if you're watching this on YouTube, um, wait a few weeks. This is a long VOD to edit. So, yeah. Okay, guys. That was fun. Okay. All 48 tracks done in one sitting. Wait, let's view the results. Yes! Even on normal computers, I'm still good. Nah, I probably would've ranked less if I did, like, hard comms, I'll be honest. The computers are getting too good. Six hundred eighty-nine points. Yeah, I'm cracked. I mean, I played for almost three hours straight. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Do not worry, stream is not over yet because we did get a few resubscriptions. So we're gonna do calligraphy. So if you donate to the channel, subscribe, or use your channel points, I will write your name. So guys, subscribe now or use your channel points now. Let's get some different music on, because we've been playing Mario Kart music all day. Um, and I'm not lying. I will do ranking all the DLC tracks tomorrow. And I'm probably going to stream at normal time tomorrow at, like, 11, so do not worry. I streamed late today because I was doing, um, girl boss things. I was just going grocery shopping. And since I have to take the bus everywhere, it literally takes all day. Just chatting. And while I'm getting the second camera set up, guys, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. It is youtube.com slash at peace and 17 and then at peace and 17 clips. Weekly stream highlights on the main channel and clips on the clips channel, obviously. If you're new here, click follow. If you've been lurking, click follow. If you watched for more than five minutes, you must have liked what you saw. Unless you're a hate watcher, then um, just don't. <laughs> Imagine. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do cooking music. Oh, I might have messed up. I know we have a few resubs. Somebody said hi. Let me replay it. The TTS wasn't enabled because I was capturing the wrong audio source. I'm sorry. Hand a cam. Gentle reminder, if you want me to reach your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Or subscribe.
Thank you for redeeming wolves. Also, guys, we are nearing the end of December, so if you want a chance to give VIP and a Twitch gift card, flip the stream and title your clips and you might win. Wolves is on like a three month streak. Can somebody dethrone him? You know, I believe in capitalism. I don't like monopolies. I was wondering if I could change my color. Yes, tell me now. Before I do it. Okay, Katie's numbers will not fit, but I think it's more important to fit, like, the actual punchline of their name. <laughs> I messed up. Look, it's KD, and then I forgot the T, because I thought the... Guys, it's been a long time since I've had to do this. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> That's too... Okay, I've gotten really good at not cursing, though. I think it's because when I'm in, like, YouTube mode, I don't curse. As much. Dang it, I gotta do it again. Fuck. How are you guys doing today? I know we didn't get to do as many story times, but I'll do a normal Mario Kart stream next week. And I'll do all my little story times from Christmas and stuff. Oh wait, what'd you guys get for Christmas? If you celebrate. I told my roommates to not get me things, so they got me chocolates and then like a little photo album and it was really cute. I can't believe I have to rewrite these all again. You got a blue Yoshi plus? That sounds cute. Oh, my sister did get me a big Charizard plus. So you guys want to see it? Okay, I lied. Whenever I say Charmander, I just say Charizard. But ain't it cute? It's shipping. She got it at GameStop. new joy cons plus mario wonder and mario rpg Ooh, very nice i almost did a hundred percent completionist run in mario wonder already Dude, that's insane already bruh I got a quilted blanket and a projector for the Switch? You know what, Wholesome and Gamer, that's a great combo.
Oh. <laughs> I saw Pikachu similar to that at Barnes and Nobles and carried it the whole time I was there to then just put it back when I was leaving. You know what? But then you get to like still experience it. I didn't see any plushies at my local Barnes and Nobles. I got that uh, Charmander at GameStop. I did tell my sister to not buy me any more plushies, only one a year. Cause you know the tiny couch I had on my stream background? It now has four Pokemon plushies, two Pikachus, a Bulbasaur, and a Charmander. And I told her no more. That's only for special occasions to get me gifts. Thank you for the lurk. Imagine I mess up on this page again. I would never stream again, no joke. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. I had to stop too. I had a whole pile of smishmallows. Smishmallows. <laughs> Squishmallows that just stayed in the corner of my room, yeah. Like, that's why I told myself I can never get into, like, legitimately collecting things. Because I'm the type of person to where, like, I feel like I need it. And, like, objectively, you don't need it. It's different if you're, like, have money. But if you're brokey, probably buy something else for yourself. Because collecting things is about, like, to, to me, I like the anticipation of, like, wanting to get something. But then once I have it, it's almost like, I just want more. It's like an unsatiable desire when you're collecting things. And my sister's the opposite. She likes collecting things. <laughs> but, you know, she has expendable income because now she has a really good job. Congrats to her. Lucky little shit. I used to collect Funko Pops, but stopped a few years ago. Some are pretty expensive now. Okay, don't get mad at me, Mint. But I think Funko Pops are, like, the silliest thing to collect. Because they look too similar. Like, the style of Funko Pops is very generic. Like, the only thing that makes the figurines themselves look unique is the attributes of the character and like since all the poses are the same they there's no like dynamic to it but i'm glad you stopped <laughs> that was in my middle school phase you're forgiven thank you for redeeming jill i will do it or you're next in line no guarantees when I'll do it. It could be now or it could be like an hour. Just kidding. Dude, imagine. Holy moly. 
Will I ever get to a point where calligraphy will literally take an hour of the stream? We have to stop this calligraphy stuff before I get big, guys. We have to. <laughs> Future money saved? No, do not encourage that behavior. The people who buy Pokemon cards thinking it's an investment? Dude, you're just brain dead. Just write your favorite chatters from the day? No, that would get- that would make so many people upset, I feel. Cause like, I will jokingly say blank is my favorite chatter. But... <laughs> it's usually between like, five people. <laughs> like... I don't think I've ever said search and chatters are my favorite chatter. And if I did that as like a 1k Andy, you guys would be rioting the whole time. You guys would be like, fake socialist! But nah, it'll take a long time before I, I gain clout. Unless... Guys, sub to the YouTube. That is my, my goal for 2024, one of the main ones, is to grow my YouTube channel. Because... I can probably get all the watch hours by summer. It's just getting 500 subs is gonna be a grind. Because I've gained... Like, 150 from TikTok, just people, like, coming over and following. But in terms of, like, natural subscribers who, like, found me on YouTube, I think about 20, which is good. For, like, a channel that's just stream highlights. But I wanna get more. I'm greedy. I'm trying to imagine you getting cancelled, but I can't. I would get cancelled by the woke mob. Nah. It, you know why? It's because I didn't start using the internet until, like, late high school. So, like, I wasn't in chat rooms. I wasn't, like, DMing people. Not saying that if I did, I would have done bad things or said bad words. Because my moral compass has shifted as I've grown older. Like, I've gained a lot more perspective on, like, what is appropriate to do and say. But then also... I understand why people don't appreciate certain things or words being said. And that takes time to gain that perspective. Like, the worst thing I said as a teenager was, like, shit or fuck. Or... There's one other word, it's not a slur, it's just like an ableist word. It starts with an S, ends with O, connect the dots. I used to say that, but that's because my parents use it a lot. Like, they would jokingly call my sister and I that word, like, even though we're not. Even though my sister and I, like, my sister is on the spectrum, but I probably am as well. Like, I just need to get, um, evaluated. But our parents would call us, like... Starts with S, ends with O, like, as a joke, but, like, not as a joke. Anyway. So, like, I would use that word, like, jokingly, but now I'm phasing it out of my vocabulary. Anyway. <laughs> S-O. <laughs> I'm not gonna play hangman to guess the word. You don't know the word? Um, how do I say it? <laughs> okay, it's... It was the slang term for schizophrenic. Which is not good to say because it's derogatory in nature and ableist. And I understand that now as an adult. <laughs> Why did I just guess the word slowly into my mind? You know, some of us... Take more time and that's fine. I did not forget the tea. But anyway, I like... Over the past two years, I've been trying to phase it out of my vocabulary. And it is very difficult when like... I'm looking it up. <laughs> Dude, you're too innocent. How do you not know? <laughs> I literally gave the most clear clue. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so cute. Um... But what I've noticed is that 
like the people you surround yourself drastically affect your behavior and morality. So like I noticed when I started talking to people who would use certain words and I stopped talking to the less, I stopped I started using those words less. Actually maybe actually maybe what? Is this English? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word, no clippers. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, how funny would a stream be? I would obviously never do this. But it would be guess the slur. <laughs> and it would just be hangman, which is like bad words. <laughs> I would never do it. You know, that sounds like a pay money wubby stream. Somebody send him that idea and credit me, please. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. No, don't say idiot. Don't say that. Okay, Geo. Um, I know you're joking, but like seriously, if- I'm not calling you out, but in general. Like, if you are the type of person to like say, I'm stupid, I'm dumb. Something that drastically helped my self-confidence was saying I'm D-U-M, like spelling out D-U-M. That way, like, it separated dumb from like the actual word dumb, like spelling it out. Like... Ever since I started doing that jokingly, like, three years ago, I've noticed that I'm not, like, saying negative things about myself anymore. Because... This is something that I talked about with my therapist last year. Because a lot of, like, outside input affects your own perception of yourself. And I know it's cliche to hear, but, like, if you're kind to yourself, then you'll learn to like yourself more. But, um... Also, like, if you're around your friends and, like, you shit talk yourself, they're gonna be, like, mean to you, too. I don't know why I made that point. <laughs> Just say you are D-U-M, not an idiot or dumb. Even though I call you guys stupid a lot. You know, inconsistent morality. That's what I would get canceled for. I would, like, genuinely, it would be, like, I shit talk you guys too much. I found the word, good job. <laughs> anyway, you guys will never ever hear me say that word because I haven't, I've only said it twice this year in private and it wasn't in DMs. You know why? Because in phone calls, they legally can't record you depending on what state you live in. But screenshot, like Snapchat, text messages, people can always save it for themselves. And no, I do not say slurs in Discord calls. That's not what I'm implying. Smile. <laughs> Dude. You wanna hear something crazy? I had one friend. I'm not gonna say who they were. But they admitted to, like, screen recording, screen recording their computer all day, every day. So that means they'd be like screen recording all their Discord calls, all their personal emails with other people. Like they would just be screen capping their computer every day. Like, isn't that like wild? So I kind of stopped talking to that person. Why? Did they mean to? Yeah. This person was. Hmm, how do I say this kindly? They, they've gotten like burned in the past where they felt like they needed to document everything. Which is valid, but it's like... Like... You should still ask for consent. You know? They were probably do the same too. Yeah, after they told me that, I was like... Let's not do video calls anymore! <laughs> like... That's overkill? Yeah. Also, probably not legal. <laughs> but like I said, I'll never leak. Okay, once again, thank you, KD, for the two-month resub. Thank you. 
You made me ruin this whole page. Thank you. That's why, like, I'm not saying that you should, like, censor yourself, but just be mindful of what you say in any public or private setting. And that goes for, like, in the workplace, in, like, your private DMs with people. Because, like, obviously if you're in public or if you're in the workplace, like, somebody can overhear you. And even if it's, like, your friends or your partner, you never truly know, like, what they'll do. And I think, like, transparency is good. Like, if I'm, like, chatting with somebody and I'm, like... Um... I never share DMs. Like, I don't share screenshots of messages. Like, I'll gossip. I'll be like, oh, this friend told me this. Am I being a bitch? But I won't, like, send screenshots of that conversation. I'll talk about a conversation, but I will never show receipts. I don't know, like, showing receipts, it feels invasive. Um, and then, like, <clears throat> I will always ask permission before I screenshot something. Like, for example, like, I'll talk to Emmy about, like, stream stuff or art stuff, and I'll be like, and if she sends me, like, a list, I'll be like, hey, can I screenshot this? Like, I'll ask permission first. Because, like, that transparency is good, in my opinion. Because then it shows that the other person can trust you. I was getting sick of my hair down. I'm always kind and respectful to people I don't know, but friends are more natural. That's kind of how I am. Like, my, my stream persona is, like, I think me, but, like, 50% more extra. Like, with my friends, I'll be more- <laughs> You guys, funny, you're such a stupid bit. Okay, pause, go look at me. So, you guys know the emote Omega dance? Like, the guy going like this? So, what- Dude, I no I notice this. I only do this bit with my best friend, okay? So, like, they'll be telling a story, because they hung out this past week. So, they were telling a story. And whenever something good happened, I'll go like this, like, in my chair. And then whenever, like, the story took a turn, I'd be like... I would stop. Keep my hands in the air, and whenever the story went good, I would like start dancing again. <laughs> I don't know, it's like the stupidest bit I've done. But it makes them giggle every time. I think it's a good bit. Cause like they were telling me like Christmas family drama, so they'd be like, you know, we had really good him, and I'd be like, oh that's great. And then be like, my mom got angry. But then we had dessert! <laughs> like, obviously, it's not gonna be as funny to you guys, but like, I think it's one of my- It's like one of those inside jokes you have with your friends, and it's like, you gotta be there to get it. But like, some of my stream bits do leak into like, my actual like, friendship jokes. Like, UNLESS is a good one that I still use with my friends. What other bits do I do? I do the um bit a lot. But being nice didn't help me in high school because I didn't know anyone, so me being nice was off-putting. People didn't understand why I was being nice. That sucks. See, that's kind of how I was in school, but like... I was just like too socially awkward to like know how to interact with people. It's cause like when I was younger, like I didn't have many friends. Oh, once again, thank you, Mint, for the 10-month resub. Thank you. Okay, now we can do... Okay, I did not tear this out. Look. It's not torn, it's just cut crooked. Guys, I'm not rewriting this. 
This book was eight dollars! Dude, what is up? And that's the only page that's like cut like this! I'm gonna scream. Um, hashtag artist problems. I'm- I'm tucking it in the back. It'll be there in spirit. It looks good. I'll just tape it. Nobody will know. You guys will- Did you mean to rip it? No! Okay, Gio, look at this. You think I tore this? Those lines are straight, bitch. Get some glasses. Like, that is like cut. <laughs> The other page that I messed up, I did rip out, but this one, this one is cut. The line is straight, unlike my chat. Gage. Unless you're not Gage, then... <laughs> okay, channel point names now. Hazel. Hazel is like a golden rod. <laughs> what do you mean, Gage? <laughs> <laughs> Unless... Guys, one day I'll get a GF. It'll happen. You guys will never meet her, though. Until I'm married. I did tell myself I'm never gonna show a romantic partner online until we get married. Because there's too many psychos online. Which is the P word I'm also trying to phase out, but I'm working on it. still on yes sir you stream your wedding for us wedding stream how about i'll do a animal crossing wedding stream wait that would be really cute like making a character with your partner that would be cute <laughs> okay but genuinely oh wait can we get some yo's hi electra but genuinely, if you stream your wedding, you would for sure get, like, wedding crashers. It would be cute, but, like, wait. Imagine how many subs you can farm during your wedding. Pause. <laughs> no, because, like, all you need is, like, some bad person to find your venue, and then you're cooked. You know? Wedding gifts through stream? Wait, you could do a- Okay, we need to stop entertaining the idea of wedding content, because I agree, I, I don't- I think getting married is kind of silly. Like, it's different if you have a kid, but like, financially, getting married is like, kind of dumb if you're young. Like, I understand it's cute, but like, people don't understand like, the financial- I almost said burden, like, the financial weight of what a ma uh, marriage entails. Like, when you get married, your debt is combined. You're, whenever you file taxes, you can file um, jointly, or you can do married but filing separately, like, if you both have, like, significant income. It's, like, kind of not worth. Weddings are boring anyway. Dude, I would do anything to go to a wedding. The last time I went to a wedding was when I was like 10, so I have like no memory. I, re I really want to go to a wedding. I would cry. I would be the bitch who cries. But you know, all my friends, they're having kids, but they're not getting married. It's like, the kids are cute, but like, I want to go to a freaking wedding. 
Thank you, Wolves, for redeeming. I'm surprised we didn't have a holiday Nintendo Direct. Um, the reason why is because they did a Direct earlier, like before, like the shopping season started. Because if they would have released a Direct, like, mid-December, parents would have spent all their money already. I mean, Santa. <laughs> so, it would have been not in their best financial interest to, like, release a Direct too late into December. But in terms of like holiday games, I know like when you log onto the Switch, they have like the articles that promo games, so. But only like the kid would see it, not the adult. Also, Mother Electra. I don't know if you watched the Winter Wishes stream, but Electra, if you have a chance, watch tomorrow's YouTube video, because your gift was, I think. Like, top three best bits from the Winter Wishes stream. Or there's a clips on my Twitch clips tab. Your bit was good. Also, didn't mean to call you out if you're lurking. Because I was showing my sister, like, clips from the Winter Wishes stream. And she said the Peace and Simp and Mother Electra's bits were the best one. When I got my Switch, I gave away my Wii U. I regret it because the person I gave it to wasn't thankful. Damn. You should have kept it! It's vintage! But damn, that sucks. You know what you should do? You should ask for it back. And cause drama. Imagine. Okay, final name of the day, final name. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is subscribe or use your channel point. Steal it back, you can also do that. It depends on, like, if you want to keep a relationship with this person. Okay, everybody, last call. Do you want me to write your name? Last call. Is it possible to redeem, like, five times in a row? No. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it? Surely. Surely. Just asking. <laughs> no. Because... <laughs> Most of my channel bar redemptions have restrictions, so, like, people can redeem once a stream or once every hour. For calligraphy, I only do it once per stream because I know, like... Some of y'all would just spam it, and I don't like when people... I don't like when people disrupt the stream. Like, it's annoying for the creator and then also chat. That's why, like, I put somewhat strict limiters on my redemptions. Like, that's why I also don't have sound alerts. Because then that ruins, like, the audio experience. Like, imagine if I had, like, an audio alert that went off, like, every five minutes. That would be annoying as fuck. Unless it was subscriptions, then that would be pog. A sub every five minutes? Wait. <laughs> but that's why I don't have, like, like pre-chosen sound alerts for bits or anything. Because, like, I want people to subscribe or donate because they genuinely want to. I do have TTS enabled, but, like, my stream is small enough to where, like, I will still read your chat. You don't have to cheer bits to get my attention. Maybe if I become a 1k Andy, I'll only read the bit messages. But for now, I'll still talk to you, unless you're, like, weird. But yeah. Okay, guys. 
I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Am I gonna do a New Year's stream? Oh, plan is simple. Tomorrow, ranking every Mario Kart DLC stream. <sighs> DLC track, so today, but with DLC and shitting on city tracks. Sunday, beating Super Mario RPG. And then, um, I gotta plan out the week. You guys get a little sneak peek. Let's see. I should be free most of January. I do have to do errands on Tuesday. So, Monday? Probably just a normal stream. Wednesday? Oh, wait, sketch cards. We gotta do sketch cards, because Keelan gifted six subs this month. One of the days in the first week of January is sketch cards, and then another day will be New Year's resolutions, and then peace in year in review, watching the top clips of the year, and then gaming. I think, like I said earlier, I will do Wii games again in January. We'll do Wii Week 2024. Not every city track is bad. There's like two good ones. But like, I swear to god, like 80% of the DLC was city tracks. Okay guys, we'll do more hot takes tomorrow. I should be live at the normal time, 11. Hopefully. So make sure you're following the channel. If you're not, just click the button. It's free. You get emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. If you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on. That way you don't miss a single stream or maybe streams are late. Because, you know, um, life. So make sure you have notifs turned on. Before I go, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. I have a main channel, youtube.com slash at peace and zimatine and youtube.com slash at peace and 70 clips. Weekly stream highlights on the main channel, daily YouTube clips and shorts on the clips channel. Go subscribe. Now, if you want to watch more of my content, um, go watch my most recent video. It was my viewers' Christmas trees are atrocious. Good stream. Go watch it. New video will be out on the channel tomorrow at 9 a.m. So guys, I had fun today. Hopefully I didn't piss you guys off with my Mario Kart ranking. But don't worry, we're gonna do it again tomorrow. And you guys have a good night. I will see you later. Good night. Can we raid? Let's see. Wait! Scootish is playing Mario Kart! Let's raid Scootish. For once. Guys, you know the drill. Cam back on. We're gonna raid Scootish, because he's playing Mario Kart. And I think it's fitting if we raid him today. So, stay in the chat. You get channel points. And Scootish actually plays with his viewers. So you can maybe stream snipe him. With kindness. <laughs> so, you know the drill? Nope, that's the wrong chat. Ignore that. What? What? There we go, that's the right command. Guys, if you are a subscriber, type in Scootish's chat. Peace I 2 spin, peace raid. Make sure you are kind and polite. Um, keep in mind, Scootish's jokes can be PG-13. So keep that in mind. Okay? He's playing Mario Kart! Say nice things. Please be nice! Please! Please! He's like the only streamer I watch who plays Mario Kart. You can't ruin this for me. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.